Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to another wonderful week of boat building with the Recycled Mississippi team. Woo! Hey internet, meet Gary, Livio and Harness. These guys are joining me on a zero waste adventure traveling 4,000 kilometers down the Mississippi River on a boat made from recycled plastic bottles. Currently, we've got the help of our buddies Martin and Xander to build this boat on time. Welcome to the adventure. Ladies and gents, there is so much work to be done and not a huge amount of time for vlogging. So a very short, sharp update for you this week. The first thing is we've started to put our bottles collected from the New York City curbside in our boat. Remember those things from last week? The, the bottles that we put dry ice in that had become rock solid? They are now sitting in there and they are locked in place. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a hull. There are two of these connected by a platform on those wooden blocks right there. So we are about to start filling up this hull with plastic bottles. Are we ready to go? You ready? Yeah. All right. The second update is that a wonderful neighbor from around here called Brian offered to help make our rudders for us. And he has done an amazing job over the last couple weeks in working alongside us and helping design the rudder system that's gonna help us steer this boat. All right, you guys ready? For yep. what? Come check these out. So guys, we made, um, instead of giving you some muskets, we made some uh, tillers. Nice, nice. Out of, wow. um, you have to decide whether you want to be able to lift these up flexible, you know. Mm -hmm. He has done this all out of his own time and has donated the hardware so that we can use these rudders effectively on our boat and we couldn't be more grateful. So thank you so much, Brian. The final update for this week is wanting to describe to you a little bit more about the technology that we're gonna be using on our boat to power this camera, our computers for editing the vlog, as well as uh, the GPS system that's gonna be keeping track of us as we go down the river. You may have seen my wonderful friend Martin from New Zealand popping around in all the videos. He recently started a company in New Zealand called Hubbub. Hubbub is a company that creates interactive art installations with technology. So think about a big display with sensors inside uh, and a piece of art that moves and transforms as you move. This is the kind of stuff that Martin creates. Martin has been here donating his time for the last two months to help us build this boat and he is also taking care of all the technological componentry. So over to him now to explain a little bit more. All right buddy introduce yourself to the world. Hey everyone, I'm Martin. I'm so stoked to be here. I've been working for about two months building this boat. One of the problems that I've had to solve is how do we charge these cameras and computers in remote places so that we can get these vlogs to you every single week. And the way that we've solved this problem is by the generous help of our friends at Sunrise Solar Solutions. They've donated two of these panels. So we are very excited because right now we're heading to a place called Sunrise Solar in upstate New York. They are providers of solar panels to houses and they have very kindly donated two solar solar panels for us to take on our journey with us to help power all the equipment that help put these vlogs and our film together. Sunrise Solar Solutions. Martin and I are here at Sunrise Solar with the amazing Doug and Rand. Doug, fantastic to meet you. Nice to meet you. Rand, thank nice you so to meet much. You, man. These projects are only uh, only happen with support like like the support you've given us for these solar panels. So thank you so much. It's our pleasure. Should we go get some solar panels? We did an upcycle um, where we have um, put on a new uh, system for yep. one of our clients, and they've asked us to. Um, use these in, the, in a good way and we can think of no better way than to recycle and upcycle them to uh, a new project like yours so fantastic um, so this this solar panel has sat on someone's roof before and now we're able right. to take it and reuse it on our boat you can see martin over here he's <laughs> like grinning he's grinning <laughs> 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 can't wait to awesome. so you'll be using it to power so we'll yeah so we'll be using this panel right here to power the lights for safety on our boat as well as all the cameras and electronic equipment to keep the vlog and the documentary live. Thank you Sunrise Solar Solutions! So this is a spot device. It can be used by the team in emergency situations so that they can reach out for help but it also has a GPS function. So me and my company are building an interactive map where you guys can follow the weekly vlogs all live. Uh, what we have here are external hard drives. These are from a company called Apricorn and they were very generously donated to us. This hard drive from Apricorn is called an Aegeus Padlock Fortress. It has a pin pad security to keep all your data safe 
as well as the fact it is dust and waterproof. So two months on the river means that there's a lot of water and a lot of danger for losing all of your data and all of your footage for these vlogs and for the film. And we have these hard drives very, very generously donated to us to be able to keep our footage safe uh, from the water and from the dust that we're going to be encountering on the journey. So thank you very much, Apricorn. Oh, uh, one more thing. The crowdfunding campaign, it is going so unbelievably well. We are at $9,999 as we speak and we are absolutely ecstatic about this. It has been 15 days so far with 15 days to go. Thank you so much everybody for your support. If you love this project, if you love what you're, we're doing, even though the boat hasn't been on the water yet, please share it with your family and friends. It would mean the world to us. One week until this boat is on the water and whoa, we cannot wait. See you next week. Cut your hair? Yes. yes. I didn't. Why? What? What happened to your hair? <laughs> Did it fall off? Did it fall off? <laughs> Did you just cut your hair? When? Did my hair? We literally left one hour ago, and we came back, and your hair is gone. <laughs> what happened?